Hey folks, welcome back to our video tutorials. We're going to talk about working with a share component, the graphic logo. Let's just uh, dive right into our example site here so I can show you what I'm talking about. Now, this particular template does include a graphic logo, and oftentimes we'll use some sort of an image that goes along with the name of the website, and that'll be sort of our, you know, you can use that if you want to, or you can get rid of it and use your own, or there's nothing, right? And you can just add your own, you can always add your own graphic logo if there isn't one displayed on the page. But we're going to basically be replacing this graphic logo with something else. Now the fun begins because we can really start to customize the look of our website to how we really want it to be. In this case, we're going to replace this cool little logo here with a golf ball. Okay, and um, well, let's just jump into Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver and get started. Now, we open up the library, the shared folder, and the graphic logo page. If you already have a graphic logo on here, it's going to be displayed right here. Okay, now there's a couple of ways you can change this, but we're going to assume that we, I'm going to show you how to do this. So if you don't have a graphic logo there already, it's going to be the same process. Basically, if you have one, select it and delete it off the page. Okay, now let's go about replacing it with a new image. First of all, we need a new image. Now, I've already set up ahead of time what I call my, uh, my assets folder for when I build a website. Here, I'm just going to whip that into view real quick here. Sorry for the disruption. Now, in here, I have my slider images, themed objects, you know, videos I'm going to be using, uh, copies of the website. I have a logos folder. And in the logos folder, I'm going to be using my Frizoo logo in this particular example. Now, all I need to do is drag that into my site and then drop it onto my graphic logo LBI page. Now, there's many different ways. You can actually import the logo directly through the website folder itself. Now, some of you folks are going to hate me for this comment, but if I'm working on a Mac, my preferred method is to use Finder, and I don't have video software installed on my Mac, so I'm stuck with uh, giving you a somewhat of an idea of what I would do, but I'd use Finder. I'd go find the uh, website folder, and then I'd go into the um, site and maybe the themed images folder, and here I would just simply copy my logo in. Okay, we'll just do a copy and a paste into the, into the uh, themed images folder. There we go. Now I've got the Pursue logo in my website themed images and our site and themed images folder. Okay, just by copying and pasting. That's one way of doing it. Um, if we don't uh, use this particular method, let's just get rid of that and we'll close that down. You can drag it into Dreamweaver. When you do this, this is use some caution when you do this. And let me just uh, resize things a little bit in my video here so we can get things side by side nicely. Now, typically when you copy something over, if you drag and drop it onto a folder, it may put it into the folder. Sometimes it ends up down here in the root and you're like, well, I just dragged that image in, where did it go? Sometimes it ends up down here and then you have to move it from here into whatever folder you want, right? Um, but here's a little trick that I use. If I go to my site, open up my themed images folder, see the images right here. I just sort of drag it onto an existing image to it, so I make sure it goes into the right place. Right? Sometimes if I drag it onto the themed images folder, it ends up, like I said, being down here somewhere in the root. But uh, of course it's working for me today when I'm trying to make things mess up a little bit. Anyways, get your picture in here, whatever method you, pref whatever your preferred method is, um, as long as it's in the site, okay? Don't try and link to it from outside the site it won't show up when you publish. All right, now we have our Frizoo logo within our themed images folder or wherever you prefer to keep it. We're just gonna drag it right onto the page. Give it an alt uh, Frizoo logo. What this really does is it helps screen readers and search engine, optimize, uh, search engine optimization in terms of it tells these different devices what this graphic is. If it's a screen reader, it says for Zoo logo. If it's a search engine that's reading the content of your site, it tells the search engine what this particular image is, helps for spidering the content on your site. So we're just gonna hit okay, and there it is. Now, here's a super important step. Select the logo, go down to the width, remove it just by hitting the backspace, and the height, remove it by hitting the backspace. You wanna do this because you want the image to be responsive. In other words, you want it to scale for mobile devices. If you apply a height and a width to it, it will not scale. All right. The cool thing about the bootstrap theme is images, if you just drop them into the page the way you would without a height and a width, they'll scale nicely on smaller devices. If you don't, they're going to stay at their default size and push things out of the way and make pretty much a mess of your page. 
So once that's done, we just set the file, we hit save, it updates, and we're going to jump right back to our demonstration here. We're going to hit the refresh button and check out our logo. There it is! Showed up right away. It actually showed up in a pretty good location as well. Now here's a point to note. If your logo does not fit into the spot or the place where you want it to go, resize it and then import it back into your site. Or use whatever your favorite tool is and edit it directly. But resize it to fit. Don't try and resize the logo using HTML. We talked about that just a minute ago. If you do try and use HTML to resize it, in other words, changing the height and the width, keep in mind if you do that, it's not going to resize on mobile devices. Okay. So, the other thing you need to consider once you imported or replaced the graphic logo is the positioning. Nine times out of ten, it's not going to fit in here as nice as this one did. You probably have to um, resize it, or sorry, reposition it through the uh, style sheet. To do that, we're just going to um, jump back into Dreamweaver here. We're going to go into the site, and this time into the styles folder, and the styles.css. Scroll on down a little bit. We're looking for the where the header components are. Footer, 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 header components. There it is right there. Now in the header components section of the style.css or the styles.css, you'll find basically all the components that we've put, placed into the header of the page, minus the nav bar, um, that you can position to give the effect and the appearance that you're really looking for. Uh, so all you have to do is find the graphic logo and we'll see that there's a, a position of top and left. Well, let me see here. We probably want it maybe a little closer to the top. So what I would do is I would, I see that it's a top of 10 pixels. I can go with zero pixels, save, go back to my page, refresh, nudges it up a little bit. But what if I want to get it just above this line here? But the problem is I'm already at zero. Well, guess what? You can use a negative number. Absolutely. You can type in negative 20 as in 20px, and make sure you keep the px, that's important. We're going to save it, go back, refresh, and that's going to yank it right up. A little bit too much, maybe 10 would have done the trick. So we'll just keep playing around with it. And when we design the templates and we put these graphic logos that come with it in, probably, you know, we don't hit it on the on the head right, right away. Usually it's you know, 15 or 20 tries at least before we get things to line up the way we want them to line up. But that's how you can position your graphic logo. And then, of course, you can just use the, you can increase, if you want it further from the left side of the page, you'd use a positive number. Or you could even position it on the right side of the page. I'm not sure how that would look, but you can do that if you want. There it is, way over here, on top of all the other bits and pieces. So that's obviously not going to work for us unless we remove the, the phone number and the uh, text links. But at least you know that you can move it somewhere else. And then we can move these somewhere else on the head of the page, too, simply by changing the uh, style positioning in the styles.css.